This summer has seen the financial power of the Premier League come into focus once again, with a number of clubs breaking their previous transfer records during the months of June, July, and August. In attempting to understand the reasons behind England's financial dominance, one must look at the benefit of the TV rights deal. The latest Premier League TV rights deal kicked in during the 2016-17 season and saw clubs earn a record windfall of £5.14 billion. Compared from the deal three years earlier, it represented a 71% increase for broadcasters, according to the BBC, with Sky paying 83% more than it did the last round three years ago. The money is split up in three key ways. Domestic TV money is estimated to be worth around £1.7 billion per season. 50% of this is divided equally and is worth roughly £35 million per club, or one Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. A further 25% is merit-based and earned dependent on a club's final league position. The team that finishes bottom of the Premier League will receive roughly £1.9 million, with a further £1.9 million for each place above that. For example, the champions earn roughly £38 million and the 10th place earns £21 million. The remaining 25% is divided up among clubs depending on how often they appear on live TV broadcasts and is also known as facility fees. Each team receives £1 million per TV appearance and is guaranteed a minimum of £10 million per season even if they appear less than 10 times. Beyond that, is the overseas rights, which add a further £780 million to the pot per season. This is dished out equally to each Premier League club and earns them roughly £39 million per season. All in all, this helps produce some staggering incomes for Premier League clubs. Taking last season as an example, champions Chelsea earned £150.8 million for winning the title. Relegated Sunderland earned an equally impressive £93.471 million the ratio between highest and lowest earning clubs last season was 1.61 to 1, the lowest among Europe's top leagues, which means the Premier League is more equal when it comes to sharing revenue than its rivals. For example, Spain had at one time seen Barcelona and Real Madrid enjoy a lion's share of the funds. This season, Atletico Madrid won the league and they collected €42 million, Euros, compared to €140 million Euros for Real Madrid and Barcelona and €18 million for Almera. In 2016, however, a renegotiation saw the structure change to the following parameters. A 50% equal share for all 20 clubs in La Liga, 25% merit based on how clubs finish in the table in the last three years, and 25% according to the resource generation ability of clubs. However, don't expect a glut of spending in Spain. Their three-year deal still represented half of what the Premier League collects during the same period for domestic rights. While reliance on the money fluctuates from club to club, a piece in the Daily Express estimated Bournemouth, Watford and Swansea as the three clubs most reliant on TV money, and Manchester United the least reliant.